Your brain is lying to you. Not maliciously, just constantly. You don't actually see the world. You predict it. Every sound you hear, every face you recognize, every word you think you understand, those are all guesses your brain made a fraction of a second before you notice them. When those guesses land, reality feels smooth. When they don't, you feel that instant, wait, what? That tiny jolt of surprise that tells your brain it messed up. And that's how everything you know works. In this video, we're going to break down how your brain predicts your reality, the math it secretly runs every second, why evolution built you this way, how chemicals like dopamine train your predictions, and finally, why reality itself might just be a controlled hallucination. Here's the game loop your brain plays all day. Guess, check, fix, repeat. Neuroscience calls it predictive processing. Higher brain areas send down their best guesses about what the eyes, ears and skin are about to report, while lower areas send back the prediction errors, the hey, that wasn't it signal. You're doing it right now. As you listen, your brain is already predicting the next word. And if the word is banana, your brain throws a tiny fit. It detects that mismatch and immediately updates the model. The truth is, most of what you perceive isn't raw reality. It's your brain's best fit explanation of messy, noisy data. The world is chaotic, but your internal model makes it stable and livable. When you walk into your kitchen, your brain is already expecting a fridge, a table, maybe a mug on the counter. If the mug isn't there, the prediction error bubbles up, the model refreshes, your hand hesitates mid-air and you laugh at yourself. This loop runs thousands of times per second. Your brain is, quite literally, a prediction machine with legs. Underneath all this is a simple idea from probability theory. Bayes. You start with what you expect, then you get new evidence, and you update your belief. That's it. The brain just does it automatically, at massive scale and speed. Picture walking through a foggy park and seeing a vague shape move. If you're in a dog park, your prior expectation screams, dog. The evidence is fuzzy, so your brain leans on experience until stronger signals prove otherwise. That's also why illusions work. Your brain has built-in assumptions about light, shadow and edges. The illusion hijacks those assumptions, and your brain confidently misreads the world, not because it's dumb, but because that shortcut usually works. Language follows the same rule. You don't read letter by letter, you predict entire words ahead of time. That's why you mishear lyrics, or why your name seems to pop out of background noise. Your brain is basically an autocorrect system for reality. Thinking is expensive, but prediction is efficient. Evolution rewards the organism that moves first and wastes less. If you can predict where prey will be, you can intercept it. If you can predict winter, you can store food before it arrives. And if you can predict danger, you can hide before it strikes. Prediction saves energy too. Why process every pixel of information when you can ignore what's obvious and only pay attention to surprises? Your brain compresses the world, treating predictable information as already handled and forwarding only the interesting errors upward. Over millions of years, that strategy scaled. Animals that guessed well survived longer. Social animals that could predict each other's behavior cooperated better. And humans took it to the extreme we predict weather, markets, traffic, and even the words other people are about to say. Let's talk chemistry. The brain needs a scoreboard for how good its guesses are, and dopamine is that scoreboard. It's not the pleasure molecule, it's the prediction error messenger. When the outcome is better than expected, dopamine spikes and says, nice move, do that again. When it's exactly as expected, there's no change, nothing new to learn. And when it's worse than expected, dopamine drops and signals that wasn't worth it. This loop trains you. It's how habits form, skills improve, and even why apps keep you hooked. 
predict, compare, update. The same principle drives modern reinforcement learning in AI. Other brain chemicals fine-tune this system. Norepinephrine boosts attention when something feels off, and acetylcholine adjusts how much the brain trusts new data. When this tuning goes wrong, things can tilt. Too much trust in prior predictions, and the brain can hallucinate. Too much trust in random noise, and the world feels unstable. If perception is just prediction checked against sensory input, then what you experience is a controlled hallucination. Controlled because your senses keep the hallucination tied to reality most of the time. But when that control loosens, you start to see the seams. Illusions happen when your brain's expectations overpower the raw data. Dreams are predictions, running free with no sensory input at all. Psychedelics, relax the priors and let your brain explore unlikely possibilities. Even the dress phenomenon, blue and black or white and gold, shows how different lighting assumptions create completely different worlds inside different brains. This isn't bad news, it's what keeps life stable. You don't need perfect information to act, you just need good predictions that update fast. That's how your brain turns chaos into a consistent, usable reality. So, yes, you and I are hallucinating this video together. We just happen to agree on most of the details. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want more deep dives like this.